GE Multiland D400 is a secure, hardened, advanced substation gateway that collects metering, status events, and fault report data from serial or LAN-based intelligent substation devices. These devices are connected to the D400 in the substation and collect information from all over the substation concentrated at the D400. The Multiland D400 summarizes the data from the substation devices and makes it available locally or remotely through a standard secure web browser, HTTPS. It supports serial and or LAN connection to SCADA Masters TCP IP network. Connections are supported over the built-in ethernet and the modem interfaces. So the SCADA Master, whether it's an EMS, an energy management system, or a DMS, a distribution management system, the D400 can serve all of the data from the substation to these masters that are sitting remotely and concentrate the data, summarize it, provide it to the masters that are sitting uh, remotely while providing a secure hardened um, box, 19-inch uh, rack mountable uh, device in the substation. I'm going to explore the D400 hardware with you. So uh, we start with the D400 front of the chassis of the D400 device. Um, the first thing we see is a power supply. Uh, basically the power supply in the D400 is a redundant uh, power supply and there's sensors on the back of the D400 where it will allow you to sense when power is lost to the D400 to provide an alarm on D400 power loss. The redundant power supply can be either 100 to 2400, uh, 240 volt AC, uh, basically covers the 47 to 63 hertz, or 100 to 300 volt DC and plus or minus 10%. The other choice is uh, 20 to 55 volt DC. And you can have uh, any combinations of uh, these uh, redundant power supplies in the same uh, uh, D400. So that's the D400 power supply uh, connection on the front of the D400 device. The D400 also is equipped with a compact flash and this is a user compact flash mostly used to collect uh, data from the D400 and to be taken offline for analysis if required. It provides an easy way to access uh, user data on the D400. This compact flash is different from the main compact flash, which, uh, uh, which is the home of the operating system of the D400. The D400 have also system status LED indicators. The system status LED indicators are uh, used in order to indicate the status of the power, whether the D400 is in ready state, uh, the status of the uh, network connections, and we can have up to two network cards in the D400. As such, there is a NET1, NET2 indicator on the D400 LED uh, system status uh, display. There is also a maintenance connection Ethernet port. There is a USB uh, two USB ports which can be utilized in order to um, take data from the D400 and uh, for analysis. Uh, there is also a front uh, maintenance serial port for serial port access to uh, the, the user-friendly HMI that will allow you to, uh, to set up the D400 uh, on, on a first setting with the D400. So basically we've got the Ethernet, serial, and USB communication uh, connection on the front. Uh, the last set of uh, LEDs that are available on the main CPU is the serial port status LED indicators. The D400 can have up to 16 digital, uh, 16 serial uh, communication ports and uh, the indicator on transmit and receive uh, can show the activity to the user of the D400. Um, all of these parts that I've just discussed, the compact flash, 
the system status LED indicator, the Ethernet USB, and the serial status uh, re status uh, indicators. They're all part of the main CPU. The main CPU currently comes in the following uh, five uh, different uh, types. The first one is a 650 megahertz CPU, 512 megabyte RAM with a single Ethernet. Uh, the second type would be a 1 gigahertz CPU, 1 gigabyte RAM with a single Ethernet. Or you can get the 1 gigahertz CPU, 1 gigabyte RAM, dual redundant Ethernet. You can also get the 1 gigahertz, 1 gigabyte RAM, single Ethernet, or the 1 gigahertz, 1 gigabyte RAM with a dual redundant Ethernet port. So 16 GB compact flash. Um, basically, you can either have one compact, one uh, Ethernet. Uh, card connected or two Ethernet card connected so you can uh, purchase the D400 with the proper main CPU that can support either one or two uh, redundant uh, Ethernet and the compact flash the user and the main compact flash can go up to 16 G GB in the current uh, in the current setup um, Next, I'm going to discuss uh, the reader of the D400. Um, as I mentioned, there is 16 um, serial ports that can be either RS-232, RS-485, a GFO, which is a glass fiber optic, or a PFO, plastic fiber optic connectors. So as you can see, there is uh, eight cards in here, with each equipped with two serial ports, this is serial port 1, serial port 2, and because 2 by 8 means 16 serial ports. The next card is the IRIGB input to the D400. So the IRIGB input slot to the D400 is how we collect the time from the substation so that the events in the D400 are logged with the proper time. Uh, if they're logged uh, locally. And the D400 has the capability of distributing the IRIGB through the IRIGB distribution slot. So the IRIGB distribution slot, will we can add a card that we can take the IRIGB input and also give it as an output for the rest of the devices to sync off the IRIGB time. Also, we, we explained that the D400 can accommodate up to two uh, Ethernet switches. Um, the types of the Ethernet switches, currently we support three types of Ethernet switches. You've got the Ethernet 4 port, 10 100 megabyte uh, switch. You also can, we also support the Ethernet fiber optic, hot standby, two port, 10 100 uh, base SX and we support the D400-100 base uh, FX hot standby Ethernet switch. The D400 also have the capability of supporting a KVM slot. KVM stands for keyboard, video, and mouse. D400 is just like your uh, any PC, uh, standalone PC, so we can connect a keyboard, a mouse, and a video screen which will allow us to uh, access the D400 without the need of an external PC. I think that's a, a great um, uh, enhancement of the, of the D400 the concentrator. As explained earlier, the D400 supports redundant power. The Power can be external, uh, provided to the D400, um, either 100 to 240 volt AC or 100 to 300 volt DC. It also uh, we also provide the option for 20 to 55 volt DC. In, uh, this is the top connections. The bottom connections uh, basically provide a sensor uh, for. Uh, loss of power. So in case the D400 uh, loses power, we can provide a, 
um, an output that uh, would highlight that the D400 have lost the main power connection. The Multilin D20 Rio distributed I.O. controller is a standalone small form factor device designed to provide distributed I.O. capabilities for easy connection to the Multilin D400 substation automation gateway through a substation LAN. The D.20 Rio provides an interface to the GE Multilin D20 series of I.O. modules. Not only does it allow for uh, connection to remote I.O., but it also provides a cost-effective upgrade solution for an existing substation. I'm going to explore the Rio uh, device. Uh, as, as we said, it's a small form factor. Um, so the Rio contains the D20 communication status uh, LEDs, uh, the power device and device status LEDs, and the LAN communication status LEDs. Now this LAN communication status indicate the LAN communication status with the D400. Uh, from the rear of the Rio, we've got the two 10100 base uh, for uh, D20 communication with the D400. We've got the RS232 maintenance port, and this is to set up the IP address of the uh, Rio. We've got the two D.20 link channels that support redundant peripheral uh, system connections to the Rio. We also have the power supply, which could be 85 to 264 volt AC, uh, 45 to 65 uh, hertz, or 90 to 350 volt DC output uh, with 24 volt uh, DC 3.5 amps. Uh, or 48 volt DC at 5 amps.